What's going on YouTube, West Hobbies RC here. So today we have my buddy Ed's Align T-Rex 470 LP. Uh, the last flight video of the 470 that I posted was of my 470 and we were out flying and him and I went to this little area by his house, decided to get some flights in. He took off and unfortunately with about 10 seconds into his flight, the helicopter went crazy and slammed into the ground. So this is what we have. He asked me if I could do the rebuild on it and if I could wire it like mine. So that is what this video is going to be. We are going to completely rewire the entire helicopter. So as you can see now, we have all the wires out, wrapped around the boom, up into the B-sticks. So what happened was, as you can see here, ESC came unplugged when he took off as soon as he flipped into idle up, he had an insane vibration. And before I could even tell him to shut it down or flip it back to normal mode, it, I guess, unplugged the ESC. Because when we picked it up, this was laying about like that. And the helicopter just rolled and went crazy until it slammed into the gravel. Now, let me talk about the durability of the 470. I have yet to crash my 470, so I can't talk about how durable it is. But after watching this one go in, now this is the LP, plastic head plastic tail all i did was take the skids off and throw the skids away and of course throw the blades away but this is the way it was picked up just like this boom is not bent boom is straight tail casing nothing's broken in the tail whatsoever tail blades have a mark on them we got new ones we'll replace them but main frame no sides are cracked broken it literally broke the skids Strip the main gear, as you can see here, in a couple spots. All servos are fine, and it broke one blade grip, and we lost a link. So we ordered all the parts. We had the blade grip because my 470 started as an LP, and I turned it into an LM, so I gave him my LP parts. So we have a blade grip already. We just had to order skids, a main gear, blades, and the link from here to here to the blade grip. But other than that, the helicopter survived really well. Impressive. I mean, it probably went in at about, I don't know, 25, 30 feet up, and it held up great. Canopy, of course, is paint chipped and stuff, but it is still usable. That is up to him. I think he said he's going to order a Mask Pro canopy. But we're going to go ahead and get to the time lapse, and we're going to start doing the wiring first. The parts should be here tomorrow, so I can start rebuilding the parts. But first, we're going to go ahead and rewire it like mine, shorten all the servo leads, hide them through the frame. And then for that, we will be using, which I've had questions before, what I use, a pair of uh, crimpers off of Amazon. And uh, I have this little kit here that I got off of Amazon as well. Comes with all your male and female plastic covers and your male and female ends. Uh, the I know that the gold plated ends like this are better, but this is just what I got. They work great. That's what I've done for all of my helicopters and airplanes and every extension I've made is made off of this kit. So we're going to go ahead and get to the time lapse and we're going to start rewiring. Okay, so we just got done shortening all the servo wires, extending the throttle wire. I had to extend this wire about an inch and a half. I'll put more heat shrink over to finish covering it. And we got to pull the motor out and the servo out and run the wire in between the frame. As you can see, I already started here. The wire will run down here, right between the bottom can of the motor, which does not spin just like I have on my 470 and we'll run it up and through around these servos and under this plate like these wires are run we have all the servo wires shortened crimped on all new ends heat shrunk over just so it's black I usually use braid but on like my 470 and anything where you can't see the wires I usually just put heat shrink over it just so they're black and yeah you know, no no reason to waste the braid rudder servo wire runs Underneath the round 
through the boom block and up. It does make it more of a pain to work on or service if you have to pull it apart, but I personally will choose that just for the cleanliness and the, the neatness of it. Satellite is down there, wet sanded the carbon frame so it is nice and smooth. And uh, we'll probably just go ahead and put a little heat shrink over that. But then I used some airline tubing for pneumatic retract, covered it in heat shrink as antenna guide. So the antennas run out on both sides, just like on my 470. You guys seen the video. It'll be a duplicate. The only difference is my buddy Edge is an LP 470. Mine's an LM. We're going to upgrade him soon. So next, we're going to go ahead and change out the blade grip. We're going to go ahead and change out the main gear and put the new skids on it and then part and then make the new link we have to do that too for this side we'll make the new link up because we lost that when he crashed we have all his parts here so we got the black skids he wanted to go with black skids on this one we have new main gears we have new links for the head and then i have all of his other parts which were all part of my 470 LP kit that I gave him. So we have new tail blade, which he barches, but we have um, new uh, blade grip in here that was from my LP kit and the tail blades, and that will get his crash parts fixed. And we'll finish up the wiring, so we're going to go ahead and cut to the time lapse on that, and we'll get this 470 finished up. Okay, so the 470 is done. Just have to wait on main blades, which are held up in shipping, and the canopy of his choice, which he's gonna go aftermarket, but my work here is done. So, we rebuilt the head, new blade grip, new link, repacked the thrust bearings with grease, Loctited everything down. We got the new black skids, all everything Loctite, we have the new main gear on, antenna guides, but the most important part is the wiring. It is completely rewired, shortened, lengthened, no wires are visible on the outside of the mainframe. Gonna change that connector out to a black one just so it looks better. But we have all the wires that come out of the bottom of that tray underneath and between the boom block and the carbon tray and then they run up right up into the micro beast satellite wire runs out the side runs down round to the satellite down there rudder servo same thing runs around up underneath the mainframe through the boom block out right there and it is here so the 470 is finished Ed, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it and it came out good. It is very nice and I am very happy with it. It looks identical to mine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, take care, and have a great day.